Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to Minecraft Epic Proportions. And as you can see, I have finally found Mobzilla. Guys, I couldn't wait any longer. I needed a challenge in the series. So I went to the Rainbow Ant Dimension and waited for him to spawn. And there he is. It took me a long time. I waited for days and then he finally came. And now we are definitely up for a tough boss fight today. I think I'm like slightly far enough away so he doesn't see me. Um, before we get going though, I wanted to show you guys how I prepared for the fight. Of course, I've got Big Bertha. In my other hand, I've got the Diamond Shield. And he... Okay, it started. I'll try to talk about it as we fight here, guys. Let's go, Mobzilla. I'm ready. I've been waiting for this all my Minecraft life to take you on. So yeah, I got the shield. I know some people did want to see me dual wield Big Bertha. I just didn't have the materials yet. We may fight him again dual wielding at the end of the series. I'm still thinking about that. But yeah, the thing is about um, Battle Gear and just about mobs in general is they have like a cooldown on how often they can take damage. So having two Big Berthas would not do any more damage anyway. Oh, he's standing right over me. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I hit you finally. What have you done to this? This, this was a village at one point, guys. Now it's a really messed up looking well. But yeah, this is going to be a tough fight. It's going to be a challenge. Apparently that was a building at some point. I can't even get close to him. I've got beacon. I've got potions. Um, also, I've got heart containers, which will heal me all the way back to full. And that's really the reason I grabbed them for this battle. All right, guys. The beacon needs to come right now. We need the beacon. It gives regeneration and strength. Okay, bro. I'm not messing around any longer. I've been waiting for this for a long time to challenge you to a duel. Oh, he just broke the ore spawn sign. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. You shouldn't be allowed to do it. All right, let's get around here. Can I defend with this against him? Okay, you can. He probably broke the freaking shield with that hit, but... I'm able to defend, but it still knocks me back anyway. And why so much fire? All right, guys. Also, I have the companion cube out, so we're immune to fire damage, which I figured would be perfect for this battle since he shoots constant fireballs at us. We're actually doing pretty good. Let's go, Mobzilla. I wish I could defend fall damage. Just put the shield below me. All right, he's diving in again. I'm just running at him beast mode right now. And thinking about it, guys. We're probably lucky he's not a rare spawn. Imagine what that would be like. Oh, he's jumping. Defended. Oh, my God. I took so much damage. I took so much damage. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. The dude is a freaking beast. We gotta be careful against them. But I imagine this fight is gonna be quite long. It's gotta be, right? Alright, regeneration for 23 more seconds. I did want to mention, I am working hard at putting the next mod pack together, guys. I got the Super Heroes Unlimited mod. I've got the Morph mod, which a lot of people requested. And Aura Spawn's gonna come back again. I think it's gonna be awesome with the Super Heroes mod. Like, they have such cool abilities, and a lot of them really are strong enough to go against a lot of the mobs from it. Not really Mobzilla. Like, not many things can go against Mobzilla. In a normal, like, survival scenario. Well, that's alright. Dude's a freaking beast anyway. I'm trying to get close enough here. What are you at, bro? The oh, where did those come from, those fireballs? They, like, came out of nowhere. They're, like, behind him. You can't cheat. And where are you going? He's trying to escape us. But I won't allow it. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Finally going against Mobzilla. He's jumping. Mobzilla has, like, the ability to jump like a freaking beast. And apparently, we need to chase him down. All right, let's go. Let's go, Mobzilla. I know you're there. What are you doing to that tree? It, it doesn't look right. Oh, my God. He's going so far away. I have to chase him with a freaking dragon. And the race is on. I feel like I'm racing him right now. Okay. Let's go, bro. No more... Trying to avoid your death. Your doom, it is happening today. You can't run from it. You can try. Well, you, you maybe you could run from it if you really tried really hard. Ow. Ow, Jesus. Okay. Let me get the bacon, guys. Which is an amazing food, by the way. Thanks for the suggestion. Because I really wasn't aware of it at the at the point um, before this. Wow. I got hit a bunch of times in a row. Okay, let's try to go to... <laughs> Let's try to go to him from the front here. I'm like speechless. Oh, the tail is awful. 
Yeah, the tail knocks you back, so I'm trying to go around it, but he's so big. Like, the dude is massive. Alright, I think I did it this time. Come towards the front. Let's go. Let's go, Mobzilla. I tried to defend it, too. He's at 2,700. Almost got him halfway. Getting there. He's kind of stepping on a village right now. He enjoys it. That's what he does in his free time, you know, when he's walking around this dimension. There's nothing left. How does he do it? I want your power. All right, let's go. Ooh, gives him hits off. You know what we need is something to, like, back him up again so he can't escape from everything. But really, this world is extremely flat, which is a problem. If I can find a battle tower and push him against it, that'd be amazing. Let's go. Come on, bro. That was not an enchanted apple, right? Just making sure as I was going over it. Because if we found one of those, that might be worth using. How did I end up behind him again? Stop turning. He's down to 2,600. All right, from, from below. He's destroying the whole dimension. I think when we're done here, there's going to be no dimension left. There's going to be nothing. The villagers, they're probably going to have to move back to the, the normal world with me. I'm thinking at this point. But yeah, guys, still working on the mod pack. It's going to be a while till this is actually over. But I did want to give you guys a small update on it. Because we are going to be fighting a lot today. Oh, also, the dungeon we were in last time, I set a waypoint to it so we can leave this place and go back to it pretty much instantly. Just throwing that out there for anyone that really loved that flying dungeon thing we were in. This is going crazy now. He's, he's like diving at me. I'm kind of scared. I need my bacon. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm defending. Okay. There we go. Oh, he broke the shield. He broke the shield. All right, that can't be good, right? Wow. All right, so yeah, Mobzilla has broken my diamond shield. And he's doing serious damage now. We have to escape. We have to escape, guys. He's breaking the armor. He's hurting us really badly. Right, I think we're somewhat safe here for a second. Okay, so we got the regeneration. We got strength. I have the heart containers, but I don't want to waste them, like, right off the bat. If you know what I mean. All right, let's go. Let's go, Mobzilla. That jump attack, it's really bad. It's really awful. All right, we got most of our health, though. And we got him down to 1,900. Honestly, I feel like this battle is not made for one person. And I would think you guys might agree with me at this point. This definitely is not made to be a one-person battle. All right, let's go, bro. 1,900. We got to just take him down. The knockback is insane all right oh luckily he hasn't gotten any good hits off on us but honestly we have not done too much to him either i'm at full health i see like doors and building parts around oh jesus all right let's get out of this come on mobzilla why won't you let me get close enough to actually fight you don't fight like a wimp like that all right fighting like a wuss right now I think he stepped on me because I said that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You're very tough. Let's go. Oh, I got a hit off. Okay, thank God. And he's jumping on me again. All right, he's down to 1,800. This is such a crazy fight. I knew I wanted a challenge, and Mobzilla has answered my call. All right, got the bacon back. And back to our weapon. I'm just trying. I can't get through this. Like... He totally destroyed all the land over here. Lightning. And soon it's probably going to be nighttime. I really was hoping to finish it, you know, during the day. Knock it back. Not like that would do anything at all. All right, he's at 1,600. We need to hit him like 17 more times, guys. Somehow. Come on, fight me like a man. Where am I? I end out in like almost a cave here. And he is staring at me. Oh, getting some hits off. That is so much fire. 1,200. The beast is starting to go down. Oh. Oh, don't do it. Oh, run. Run, guys. We have to run. We have to run. Okay. Okay, I replenished my health just in time. Wow. That hit was freaking brutal. 
It did so much damage. We we're down to like one heart. And I really would hate to lose this when we're about to win. Like, it's actually getting really close to winning this. Mobzilla, the toughest boss I've fought in a very, very long time. I think since I've done Divine RPG, I haven't fought anything this difficult. Alright, let me get a little closer. You know what? Knight actually might be an advantage for us because um, the other mobs might attack him too. You know, like they're all aggressive mobs around here. Alright, oh, okay, 1100. There's a girlfriend over there. It's probably best we don't have girlfriends in this fight because it'd be impossible for them to survive. He just slaughters everything. Alright, Chinese dragon, get me closer. We must go. I gotta get past his tail and to the front of him. Okay, it's about nighttime, guys. Let me drop into here and switch back to the weapon. There's a bunch of bombs around. I don't know if that's a good thing. Get Momzilla, help me here. Alright, get some hits off. Ooh, he's down to 1100. And I think he might actually be hitting some other mobs as well. Which will give us a chance in this fight. Okay, more bacon. Oh, Jesus. He hit us back into the water. That is a lot of apples. Mobzilla, I'm not losing this. What did you just do? That was weird. He flew over my head backwards, which is weird. I have no idea how he did that. Seriously, an agile dude. Okay, 1100. You're going down. You can't avoid this forever. You can try. Wow. This village, it's gone. It's really gone. I hear things like teleporting around now. Oh man, I just can't get close enough. His knockback makes this fight like so much more difficult than you would expect. Like I cannot see a good way to actually get close enough to him. But luckily we're alive. We've got full health right now. All right, I got to fly around him because his tail is, like, right there. Let me in. Or on. All right, he's fighting those dudes. This could be a perfect chance for us. All right, getting some hits off. Ooh, we got him down to a 1,000. Finally. He just killed my Chinese dragon. You're evil. You're evil, Mobzilla. Don't attack me, skeleton. This is not the time. I don't have time for peasants like that. This is just insanity at this point. The world is broken. It's it's never going to be the same after this. Whenever we go back to this dimension, like, the whole thing is, is destroyed. We've been running around for so long now. He's fighting the Robo Gunner. Okay. Got him down to 1,000 exactly. Come on, get him below 1,000. That'd be perfect. I want to feel like I'm making progress here. Got him to the 900s. Ooh, 800s. Come on, nine more hits. Nine more hits, Mobzilla. You can't last forever. I only have one bacon left. One piece. That is just, the world is wrong when you only have one piece of bacon. I should have tons. All right, this is the last one, guys. And we gotta go beast mode and just finish him at this point, I think. He's at 700, 600. Now he's, you know, 300 blocks away from us. He's trying to escape and regen his health. Yeah, fight the Robo Pounder. Yeah, fight him. Good idea. You're smart. This is our chance. Ooh, got him into the 600s. We're actually going to win this. Because before, for a minute, I thought we were going to lose. I think when we got down to one heart before, I was assuming this was going to be a lost cause. Couple more hits. I'm trying to concentrate. 500 health. I'm, like, going through the water so slow, it's it's so annoying. All right, we need to get... Okay. We need to get over there. I know I'm sacrificing all my Chinese dragons for this battle, but it's worth it. Oh, he killed it! Mid-air kill from him. But hopefully we're close enough to actually be able to attack him. Yeah, girlfriend, run. Run. Everything run. Except for the Robos. We need to get them to, you know, they're like cannon fodder for this battle. I have no shield. I've got absolutely nothing left. No bacon. That's even worse. All right, three more hits. Maybe. I know he's going to regen some health. Look what he did to that battle tower. 
Looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, where are you jumping, bro? Where are you jumping? He's, like, so in love with destroying the villages. He jumps right on top of them when he sees them. Okay, what are you standing on, anyway? What are you possibly standing on? Three more hits. And it will be the end of this beast. Oh, he's down to 137. Oh, he's really pissed. He's, he trapped me in a hole. <laughs> he trapped me. Now he's trying to get further away. Yeah, definitely not a fight for one person. It, it really isn't. Like, they did not make this for one person. Although it's possible, it is really hard. All right, 112. Oh, Jesus! What is he doing? Oh, my God! Dr eat it! Did you see that? He almost killed us. He almost killed us. Okay, okay. I'm shaking. That was so close to death. All right, guys. Chinese dragon. Bring me over there. We gotta finish him. We gotta finish him now. This is so bad. All right, I'm gonna drop myself into the water and switch. We gotta finish him. He hit me like five times in a row before. That was almost the enemy again. Wow, this this ending is is so insane. I've never had such an intense battle before in Minecraft. He's down to 147. Two hits. And he is gone for good. One more. One more. Oh. It's going to have to be two again because he's going to regen health. We got to do this. He's waving. What's going on, bro? This is the end. Say goodnight. Oh, one more hit. The last hit to finish off Mobzilla. Death is going to be so sweet. I hope so, at least. I got to get in the right position here. Let's go, bro. Before you regen it. Before you regen it. Oh, two health. I can't believe it. One last hit to finish off the beast. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, my God. He's dead. Mobzilla is dead. We've done it, guys. Wow. All right. Okay. So, I have so much crap on me. It's amazing. I have an amazing amount of crap from all the stuff that he broke. And I've got, like, tree particles and... <laughs> 56 like shrubs all right let's get rid of all this crap and actually see what we earned for killing mobzilla can't believe we did it guys i i wasn't sure i really wasn't i thought we were so dead he dropped so much stuff wow all right give me all this wonderful loot any fall down here i can't believe it all right, let's check this stuff out. Once I can pick it up, it's there's so much of it. Diamond block. All right, guys, so I cleared out some space and attempted to pick everything up that I possibly could. Left the iron stuff because, honestly, we don't really need that. But let's check this out. So I've got a block of diamond. I got some diamond gear with an amazing enchantment on it. Blast protection 5, fire protection 2, projectile protection 3. We got um, the amethyst boots. We've got the ultimate leggings, some nice enchantments, experience boots with some amazing ones, too. I got a ruby block, the Mobzilla scale, and I'm not sure if you could do anything with this. I think it might just be, like, to prove you've killed Mobzilla. Ultimate chest plate, ultimate, um, let's see, ultimate hoe, ultimate shovel, couple crappy things like a golden hoe, tons of food, ruby boots, experience helmet, like, we are stocked full of awesome drops from this dude. So much cool stuff. But yeah, Mobzilla is finally dead. You know what we should do? Is take a look at what happened to the land here. We got plenty of food for, like, the rest of my life, too. So the ground where Mobzilla traveled is ridiculous. Look at this. The whole world is annihilated. He destroyed every single thing, guys. Like, wow. Pretty bad. But we killed him. There were like four times. Oh, I better get that one after. There were like four times where I thought we were actually going to lose that fight. But somehow, pulled it out for the victory. And I'm glad we did. We got some awesome drops. And Mobzilla has perished. 
But yeah, anyways, guys, I think we will do the Fanchon right now. That took so long. But today's winners were Hector Machuca, Snivy2804, Super Mr. Destructor, and Jade Mask 14. Congrats to you guys. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time for another Minecraft video.